Can you share how big the company, I don't know what you want to share. I know it's a private company. How many employees or give us a, how big yes. is yeah, so we're you know we're just we're under sixty we're under sixty employees now, um, and in twenty twenty four we're going to do about thirty million. Wow, and this and and that'll be your what eighth night? Uh, how many years? Oh, well, four years. That's our fourth year. Because keep four. in mind, we, we <laughs> yep. Holy four. cow! Okay, all right. Yeah, that's a big time growth. Congratulations. Um, did you talk to me about the cash you've had to raise? And have you, for the listeners, I always get this question. A lot of people always email and dial in with this question around cap tables and ownership and equity and blah blah blah. Um, how much cash have you raised? Are you raising any more? And do you, Ivo, still have control? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we actually started, and we did our A round, um, and we started the A round in two thousand in twenty, right? We started the A round in twenty, and we were slotted. We were raising five million dollars, okay. and five million dollars, and we were giving a we were given a forty million dollar valuation. We raised it at a dollar a share, okay? okay. Wow. And we that was oversubscribed. And and, and the other thing is. It's very hard. There's a lot of people out there that say they can raise capital and you it, and they really don't. Right. They really don't. It, it, and it took me it, it took me some time to find the right people. Right. That, and, and, and my advice to anyone that's going to raise capital, you have to go to someone that has done it before and been successful at it because there's a lot of people. So you have to look at their resumes, you have to look at their success. And and we brought in, and it goes back to having the right people, right? So we went in and, and we brought in some people <clears throat> that have done it, just closed a significant uh, IPO, uh, a merger. So they had, you know, they were successful. And, and when you're raising capital, you're going with someone, you know, they have their, you know, they have their investor pool, they have their group of people that they go to, right? So if you're just going out net new and hiring someone and say, I'm going to raise capital, you're in for a lot of work. So, <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it literally took me like seven to nine months to figure that out. And then once I figured it out that, hey, I'm just, you know, throwing spaghetti and I want to be more surgical, we found that, you know, we found the right team and they raised the capital pretty much in short order and to the point where it was oversubscribed. Uh, we oversubscribed by three million. We ended up raising eight. Nice. Um, and then you know we we plan on going into the B round this uh, in twenty three, but with the amount of growth and everything that we were doing, uh, I really wanted to knock it out of the park and decided to postpone the B round into twenty four. Uh, this way we would have you know certain metrics, which for me you know going to the B round. You know, you have to understand what private equity or, you know, if you're going high net worth individuals, angel investors, private equity, VC, where you go, yep. you have to understand what, you know, what their, what their hard decks are and what they're looking for. Yep. And so I decided to postpone the B round because I wanted to be one, I wanted to be cash neutral, right? That was, that was the first thing I wanted to have over 5 million ARR. Uh, okay. I wanted to have I wanted to have certain metrics and and, and the, the key metric for us that's really giving us the highest evaluation is our net retention value, right? People don't realize yeah, totally. how much that plays into raising capital. Oh, big time! Oh, a huge, yeah, absolutely! I mean, that's the first. Right. I mean, as soon as you tell the investors, like, oh, I have a contract with uh, ABC uh, municipality and they're going to keep mm -hmm. us for the next twenty five years, like, <laughs> you know. Super attractive, right. Recur recurring revenue on somebody that's going to pay you. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. So, you know, so so we we basically did, what you know, uh, an interim round uh, and, in, and we started it in late 22 uh, at, and we were given a, a $80 million valuation. Wow. And we raised and we raised it at two dollars a share. And that was and that was oversubscribed. And, and the nice thing is, pretty much majority of the investors were people that are, that went in on the first round. They were doubling down. Okay. Right? So if you get if, if you get good investors, you can always go back. You know. So yeah. if you're raising capital and it, 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 you know, look, shit happens in business. It's not your fault. It, it, and trust yeah. me, I we've been kicked. You know, we've been kicked in the gut a couple times. <laughs> and not faults of our own. Just you know, situations that happen. Um, but you know, being able to go back to that original core and really that's going to bring yeah. us by going in and doing that secondary round, 
Um, that's really, you know, we're now looking at our B round. We're about $150 million valuation. Mm. And, and we're going in between 3 to $4 a share is what we're looking at now. And what are you going to raise? Uh, we're raising uh, between 30 to $50 million. Wow. Okay. So well, congratulations. Um, let me ask you that first 5 million, was that angel P E V C? What was that? High net worth individuals. Okay. Right. So it was family, it, it, family it was, office, family office type stuff, whatever. No, no, you know, it, it was funny because, you know, one of our, one of our investors, you know, was running a firm and he was the manager, you know, he was the manager of a private equity firm and he goes, look, you know, your numbers aren't there yet. You know, we were under 2 million AOR at the time when we did our first raise of this. And he goes, look, you know what? It's not for my firm, but I want to, I want to personally come in for 500,000, you know, so never underestimate the more people you talk to. It's like, it, yes. it's, 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 it's like dating. The more no's you get, the more yeses you get. Right. So, <laughs> and, and, you know, and that really worked out for us. And, you know, we had some really, really good people that came in uh, that believed in what we're doing. You know, we're, you know, we're, we're saving lives. Yes. Uh, we're trying to make it. We're trying to make a difference. They believe in what we're doing. Um, so, you know, it's, you know, it, it was good. Yep. Congratulations. Right. Now, at this point, then, if you haven't already, your personal equity uh, hold on, on the company now, I mean, you're at this point, you're I'm, answering to you're, you're answering to a board at this point. No, I still own 67 percent of the company. OK, not after you raise 50 million, you won't. <laughs> Well, no. So after after when I raised that, uh, I actually I'll be at fifty one percent ownership. Are you at that point? Are you are you shitting me? You're going to end up no. raising. You're you're going to end up raising another. What'd you say? Fifty million on this next round? Is that what you said? 30, 30, 30 is the baseline. Fifty. Okay, okay. Fifty is the max. The fifty is the max. I'm going to go because I want to maintain fifty. Because I want to maintain fifty one percent. I have companies that want to offer me more. Want to give me more money, but I'm not taking over that. So. Yes. High five. And that is probably the biggest highlight of this episode so far. That's going to be the, that's going to be the highlight clip right there.